I've been testing both Thunderbird and Betterbird for the past few weeks, and honestly, the differences are way more dramatic than I expected. Everyone knows Thunderbird as the free email client that just works, but Betterbird? It's basically what Thunderbird should have been all along. Let me break down what you're actually getting with each one. First up, Thunderbird. This is Mozilla's open source email client that's been around forever. And here's the thing, it's completely free. No subscriptions, no hidden costs, just download and use. The interface is clean enough, handles multiple email accounts like a champ, and you get the basics covered. Calendar integration, message filtering, customizable themes, it's all there. Most users love that it's not tied to any corporate ecosystem, so you're not locked into Google or Microsoft's world. But here's where it gets interesting. Thunderbird has this reputation for being stable, but I've noticed some quirks. The interface feels a bit dated compared to modern email clients, and there are these little bugs that just never get fixed. Message threading sometimes acts weird, search isn't as snappy as you'd expect, and don't get me started on the mobile experience, there isn't one. The biggest complaint I hear from users is about the development pace. Since it's maintained by a smaller team at Mozilla, updates come slowly, and when they do come, they sometimes break things that were working fine. Version 128 actually shipped with data loss issues for some users, which is pretty concerning for an email client. Here's what nobody tells you about Thunderbird's quality control. They literally didn't have any formal QA staff until mid-2024, after decades of development. The community has been basically beta testing for them. Each major release has been a disaster, from version 102's broken backend that caused data loss, to version 115's interface overhaul that broke basic functionality, to version 128's return of backend failures. Users call it Bananaware, software that ripens on your computer instead of being properly tested first. Now, Betterbird. This is where things get controversial, but I think it's actually the better choice for most people. It's a fork of Thunderbird created by Jörg Knobloch, who used to be Thunderbird's first employee and former maintainer. So this guy knows the code inside and out. Here's what surprised me about Betterbird. It's completely compatible with Thunderbird profiles, meaning you can literally install it alongside Thunderbird and switch between them without any hassle. But the improvements are immediately noticeable. They've added features that Thunderbird users have been requesting for literally decades. The multi-line view is a game changer. Think Outlook's layout, but actually functional. You can see more message information at a glance, and it just feels more professional. They've also fixed threading issues that have been plaguing Thunderbird since 2005, added better search capabilities with regex support, and improved the overall interface responsiveness. What really stands out is the bug-fixing approach. While Thunderbird ships with known issues that might get addressed eventually, Betterbird actively fixes these problems right away. The system tray integration actually works properly, you can sort messages in ways that make sense, and the startup time is noticeably faster. I tested both side by side for two weeks and the performance difference is real. Betterbird handles large mailboxes without the sluggishness you get with Thunderbird. Plus, they've added things like account-specific colors, better attachment handling, and improved keyboard shortcuts. These might sound like minor tweaks, but they add up to a significantly better daily experience. The pricing is identical, both are completely free, but here's the reality check. Betterbird is maintained by a much smaller team, essentially one dedicated developer. This could be a concern for long-term support, but honestly, given how slowly Thunderbird addresses issues, it hasn't been a problem so far. Let's be real about the trade-offs. If you want the quote-unquote official Mozilla-backed experience and don't mind waiting for fixes, Thunderbird is your safe bet. It's got broader community support and more extensive documentation. But if you're someone who gets frustrated by bugs that never get fixed and wants features that should have been included years ago, Betterbird is genuinely superior for most users especially if you're coming from Outlook or other modern email clients, Betterbird feels like the natural choice. It's what Thunderbird could have been if development moved faster and user feedback was prioritized. The bottom line, Thunderbird is fine if you want basic email functionality and don't mind the quirks, but Betterbird takes the same foundation and actually makes it work the way you'd expect. Since you can run both side by side, there's literally no reason not to try Betterbird first. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. 
Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.